Hope, hope. Eat it, eat it. Oh, he looked at it. Eat it. Eat it. No. No. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Tyler Reels Fishing. Tyler Reels? Tyler Reels. Speaking of Tyler Reels, Tyler Reels cold. So we're going to put our bibs on and get to the ramp. It's a little bit frosty this morning. The uh, the docks are literally like steaming. So the docks must be hotter than uh, the areas or the air is hotter, I don't know, something like that. I ain't no scientist, biologist, man. And you're wondering, who the heck are you? My name is Tyler Anderson. I run this channel called Tyler's Go Fishing. And this is Tyranny Season, where I document what a life is like as a college fisherman. So we are here in New York at the beautiful St. Lawrence River. If you missed episode one or my new PB catch, it will be linked up here in this corner. And today is day two of practice. So day one, uh, we figured out you know a thing or two. Garrison flew in from Texas. So now we're together. We're gonna conquer the world. And we'll see y'all when we catch some dang fish. First cast of day two. Oh, there's a stick. Is there a bet on it? No. No bet on that stick. If smallmouth are in an area, they bite. So, don't gotta spend a whole lot of time in places. Thomas. Nope. That's a big one. He spit it? Oh, dang it. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> That was a four and a half. Really? Yes! That was a four and a half pounder. What? Yeah! Are you sure? Garrison, they're giant. I, I'm telling you those, <laughs> you'll learn. I'm as, sure I will. That as, as soon as you, as soon as you get one in the boat. Yeah, I was about to get the net. That was a four and a half pounder. Oh, I, I wasn't even trying to fight him. I didn't really care, honestly. I'll get him in the boat. All right, I will. They're not gonna bite again in the tournament. Like the, the fish that aren't on beds, I've heard those ones don't bite. The bad ones bite. Oh, well, there's one that size is usually more with him. I just don't know where they're at. Got one, folks. We went around to the other side of the current break. Any boats around? No. Yeah, it's a big one. He's barely hooked. Got one hook in him. Hey, get on your knees, remember, remember? There you go. This is a good point. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, they're so thick. Told you. Holy. Chill, 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 buddy. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. Dude, that thing is just meat. It is just meat. Oh, he got off. Good. Yay, he got himself off. It's on mid four. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, we're getting out of here. We know they're here. We know that they is here. 3.4, 3.83. Okay, just, just below. Almost a four. Chunky dunk. Show him off to the barge. What up, John C. Carrick? How y'all doing today? Caught a bass for you. All right, bye-bye. On the spy bait. Heck to the yeah. Yeah, I've marked plenty that are. Oh, oh my gosh. See oh, it? That's a big one. That's a giant. Let's. Yeah, it's a four plus. Let's see if he comes back. See, he's on a random rock. Yeah, you know? Right Dude, he's a. He is a strong one because he's literally in the current. Well, everybody, little update. We have uh, found a bunch of bed fish, and this is what we're doing all day. We are trolling motor on 100. And we are just cruising, we're cruising for a bruising, AKA cruising for bruisers. And there's not really that many boats down here, but we know that everybody is gonna be bed fishing. And so we've got to find enough fish to last us at least at least two days, which is, which is hard. I guarantee you a lot of our fish on day one are gonna be gone. And a lot of our fish, especially come day two are gonna be gone. So we've got to mark a crap ton. And if you're curious, we are looking at little flats that have boulders. And the fish really aren't predictable. It's just, oh, there's a boulder. There's a fish. Like, there's a boulder right up here. I'm going to bet you guys at home a nice big old American 
American dime that there's a fish. Oh, okay, well, it looks like I just lost a dime. But that's usually what fish are. Oh, here's a, here's another one. Maybe there's gonna be one on this one. See, nope, not one on that one either. So it's all a- uh, Seems like they're almost on the smaller, like mid smaller. Yeah, I think they're on the smaller boulders, not the giant ones. So we're just gonna keep trolling and we'll check back in with you guys when we're actually fishing. Oh, there we go. He's on the left. Yeah. Oh, okay. He, he came and ate it. So you gotta be ready. Your, your hand was not ready yet. Here he comes and he ate it. No, did he not? No. No. He's going for it though. Oh, he's coming in. Hop it. And he ate it. There you go. There you go, Garrison. There you go. Loosen your drag. Loosen your drag. Oh, I'm still off of it. Loosen the drag. Can you play with the drag? I'm gonna net him. All right. I was looking left. Yay! That's like a decent fish. That's almost a four. Big it. Just a fun little fish. He was so committed. Good. Alrighty. Adios, little fishy. It's crazy. Those ones in the current don't really fight that hard because they're just like constantly fighting current. Is he good? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> well, well, it's uh, it's afternoon here on the river. It is 1.58 and our trolling motor is dead. So I don't know if I if I vlogged any of that earlier, but my trolling motor, I don't know if my batteries are just going out, but I think having your trolling motor on 100 for hours and hours just drains the battery. And so either I need bigger batteries or better batteries, or uh, I need to stop going on 100. But I mean, it's been a successful day so far, making sure there's not boats around. You know, it's not horribly crowded down here, but definitely throughout the day, more and more people have, you know, come down to this area of the river to uh, to search around. So I think this is definitely gonna be the most packed area. It's still pretty big. It still feels big, except for a lot of the spots that we're seeing big ones. We're seeing other fishermen as well marking those. So it's gonna be an interesting uh, tournament, you know, first two hours. I think a lot of people are gonna catch a fish run to the next big one, catch a fish. I'm feeling confident about 18 pounds, decently confident about 20, and then a shot in the wind at 25. It's possible, it's so possible. But we're gonna sit down, Garrison's re-rigging some tackle. I'm gonna eat a sandwich wrap. I don't know. Oh, good stuff. Why is my lens dirty? There we go. Folks, you know how I tell you guys to bump the stump? Well, for smallmouth, not today. We're not gonna be bumping no stops. Bumps boulder. We're gonna be we're gonna be shouldering the boulder. <laughs> we may even grease the crease. What does that mean? Like the rock crease? The rock crease. Grease the crease. <laughs> but one thing that we will do, I'm very sure, is we're gonna roll the shoal. Roll. <laughs> Sock the rock, alright. With no doc talk. No doc talk, of course not. All doc talk prohibited. We're gonna slaughter this water. <laughs> Gaze upon the waves. Gaze upon the waves. Mmm. All right, we found another small bedfish. And I gotta get some content here for you guys. Hope, hope. Eat it, eat it. Oh, he looked at it. Eat it. Eat it. No. No. Nah. <laughs> What is up with this fish? You saw that it was in his mouth. Yeah. Maybe he's eating the weight. There he is. That's a tub. Ordinarily, I'd be like, oh, giant. Hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. Hey there, buddy. Still have your? That fish might go forward. Okay. Oh man. Look how fat. That's a f so fat. Holy crap. That, I don't know. He's a high three. This, this, this fish was just smaller than all the fish we marked this morning. Turn it on and then you need to hold it up and reset it so the thing can be there. Oh and, gosh. Oh wow. We marked some big ones this morning. Four and a Four third. three. Holy smokes. Yeah. Can you need a picture of me? Yeah. That'd what be dope. the heck, dude? <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, get some GoPro ones. 
Thank you, Mr. 4.3. We will see you in the tournament, hopefully. That'd be nice. Oh. He's down there too, so he's probably just fine. A 4.3. Gosh. I think I, I could tell he was fat because of his uh, his sides. The fish that we caught back there that went three even, that fish was as long but wasn't fat. That's why I'm thinking that one that we brought to the surface is bigger than five. If that's a if that's a 4.3. That is a big smaller. Yeah. Oh, that's a giant. Holy cow, it's a giant. Come on, Lord. Let us get one of these fish in. Oh, we just got dark. We just lost uh, sun for a second. Ah, oh, dang it. I was hoping we'd lose it for five minutes so we could see if they would eat in the clouds. Yeah, doggy. Today was long. We started today at, what, 6.30? and finished at 5.30. We were out here for 11 hours, so. We would stay out here even longer if we had a functioning trolling motor and could, you know, keep looking for beds on 100, but isn't gonna work today. So we're gonna take what we got and uh, head in, talk about tackle with you guys, eat some dinner, you know, scoop them up. Scoop them up? What is that? My take on the day, we found a lot of bed fish. I'm excited about that. Tyler's a lot better at bed fishing than I am. I have the time I can't even see the freaking fish. And he's like, dude, it's got your bait. And I'm like, <laughs> that's true. He's not lying. But we're learning. We're teaching Garrison how to do it better. That's what these last, you know, four tournaments have been. And we've done good in them is we just had fun. Besides Smith, we had fun. And then we didn't have fun. We had a lot of not fun. So uh, we'll see y'all back at the ramp when we talk about how we caught our fish. We are back here at the house. Our gracious host, Debbie, has made us baby back ribs. So thank you so much, Debbie. We are uh, forever indebted to you and your kindness. We are staying here on the lake the whole week. Up here in Waddington, this gorgeous, gorgeous house. So definitely love being here. But Garrison and I definitely had a good day. It was not fantastic in terms of numbers of fish catches. We're still trying to figure out, like I was in the last video, how to catch fish that are not on beds. And everybody else that we're talking to at the gas station is having the same issue. And so. We, uh, we think that it's gonna come down to whoever has an early boat number, but Garrison and I are feeling confident. Ain't that right? Confident. Confident. We marked a lot of beds today. We're gonna mark a few more tomorrow as long as the weather is good. And then of course, we're gonna figure out something. We're gonna try different, you know, break lines. We're gonna try different current things. I don't even know. It's, there's so much going on in my head right now. And so I'm trying to kind of put all the pieces together, but we're feeling confident. So um, I gotta go out in the boat real quick and I'll explain to you guys kind of the gear that we used in today's video. So I'm gonna link below kind of my three favorite spinning rod combos. I know I didn't catch a whole lot of fish today, but my first combo that I'll link is my drop shot combo. And that is the TP1 Speed Stick 6.9 um, Medium Light. This is kind of the drop shot specific rod. Really, really good drop shot rod. I don't use it for much else besides the drop shot, um, but it's really, really good rod with some 15 pound uh, Seagar Smackdown braid and the inshore reel. Then of course my hair jig rod. I feel like I don't need to tell you guys all about the hair jig rod, but I might as well. It is the Team Loose Custom Pro Speed Stick 7.6 Medium Spinning Rod. Incredibly great for whipping out those really, really light hair jigs and such. Uh, with the same exact reel, same exact braid setup. I may have 20 pound braid on this, not sure if I have 15 or 20. And then the uh, kind of my shaky head, but also using it for my spy bait setup this week is also the Team Loose Custom Pro, but seven foot medium. So it's definitely a little bit more stout and not as whippy as the other one but that's kind of my three main combos i'll be linked below as well as the spy bait i was throwing the hair jigs that i was throwing all the afco clothes that i wear all that jazz and we'll see you guys for day three of practice here at tourney season the finale